From modern genetics and the widespread adaptation of artificial insemination, the new breed of a dairy cow can give up to a staggering 60 litres of milk per day. If you think that a cow only has to produce 4 litres of milk to feed her calf, that's 15 times more milk than required. So the question becomes, how do we now efficiently milk out these high producing cows and still manage to efficiently milk all of the other variants of cows that are out there, from different breeds, different milking conditions, to different milking times and different milking durations? To tackle this problem, Dairy Master have adopted a similar approach to how we monitor a cow's health by treating them as individuals and then tailoring the milking process to maximise the efficiency of each cow's milking. We do this using a number of different techniques. First is by changing the rate of pulsation in the first 60 seconds to mimic hand stimulation. This will remove the need for it manually and guarantees a consistent stimulation without the risk of infection spread. Here we can see a demonstration of this stimulation in action. During the normal milking you can see the pulsation occurring once every second and then during the stimulation phase it's increased to twice every second. This again removes the need for it to be done manually encourages the cows to give a faster milk letdown, shortens the milking time and reduces the overall risk of bimodal flow. Once the stimulation is then finished, the pulsation rate will revert back to once every second. We start to use what we call our dynamic pulsation ratio. The ratio is the duration of the liner open versus the liner closed. By altering this ratio in real time during milking, we can help the milking system deal with the larger flow rates being extracted from the cows. As you can see here, the B phase, or open phase, is slightly decreased, giving the claw ball a better chance to fully empty during each cycle. Allowing the chamber to fully empty ensures the teeth then get to reduce vacuum during the rest phase, and this will then ensure that you get a faster milk out, get better cow comfort with better teeth end condition, and shorten milking durations. By varying the flow rate at the end of milking, we can better match the individual requirements for the cow. For example, a heifer in early lactation being milked out twice a day should have a flow rate of no greater than 200 mls a minute at the end of her milking, versus a cow in peak lactation on three times a day, which should have a flow rate of somewhere between 600 to 800 mls a minute at the end of her milking. And lastly, we have our new SF liner designed specifically to cater for the higher flow rate cows. The liner, which is the most important part of the entire milking system, as it is the only part that is actually in direct contact with the cow. So having the correct liner to match the cows and milking system is essential for faster milk out and better cow comfort within the parlor. All of the data collected on flow rate from the individual cows is then logged and saved on our DairyView 360 herd management system and mobile app. This allows the system to then identify bimodal occurrences and generate milking alerts. It allows us to display the milking data to the farmer on both the PC and the phone, and this in turn helps them to make better, more informed decisions on how they milk out their individual cows. The independent research carried out on the personalized milking system has recorded savings of over one and a half minutes per cow per day, with no negative impact on milk yield or milk quality. And with our new SF liners, Farmers have reported a reduction in mastitis, along with better teeth and condition, and lower herd somatic cell count.